Hi, welcome to College Eats. I'm Abby Rosenblum, and today I'll be showing you how to make chili on the stove. So for this chili, we are going to put um, one pound of ground beef in our pan. It's just in the same pot that we're going to cook um, all our chili in. So you put that in with a little bit of oil, and then add a whole onion chopped, and also two teaspoons of garlic. And I was using this freeze-dried garlic, but you can use fresh garlic um, or garlic powder. Either one will work, or you can put in two cloves of fresh garlic. We'll just let that brown. Um, shouldn't take more than five minutes. So our meat is pretty much brown now, and we're ready to add our other ingredients. So um, we're gonna add just, it's called crushed tomatoes. You can buy it in a can um, at any grocery store. So we're just gonna pour that right in. It's basically just tomato sauce. And we're gonna add a can of black beans also. And what's great about this recipe is that it's really cheap to make because a can of beans and a can of tomato um, are all really cheap. And you, all you have to do is combine them in one pot. So we'll mix that up. And we're also gonna add um, another can of beans. You can use mixed beans, kidney beans, whatever kind of beans you want. And basically we're just gonna let that simmer for five to 10 minutes. Just gonna let that kind of get warmed up. So I've already measured out the chili powder. We're gonna add three tablespoons of that. Just pour that right in. And that'll give it its spice. If you like yours a little, a little, little spicier, then you can add more too. And our secret ingredient that not everyone knows about is adding cocoa powder. You would think that's kind of weird. Why do I want chocolate in my chili? But we're gonna be adding that too, and it gives it a really great taste. I think without it, it just doesn't really work as well. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of that. I don't know if you ever had um, this Mexican dish that has um, chicken and cocoa powder. It kind of gives it that sort of flavor too. So we'll mix that in. And then depending on how spicy you want it, you can add hot sauce. I'm using Frank's. Um, you can use Tabasco, Cholula, really whatever you want. So just kind of pour a little in and you can taste it as you go. And then we also are gonna add just a little salt and pepper. And that's kind of just to taste. It's just estimating. So we're ready for our final ingredient which is sugar, and this will balance out the acidity of the tomatoes a little bit. So we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of that. So it's not very much, but just enough to balance it out. And we're just gonna mix this up again and let it cook on medium heat for another five minutes, just to heat it up. But this really is a quick recipe and it's great to make and makes you feel like you're getting a nice home cooked meal. And we're ready to just let this sit for a little bit, let it get warmed up, and then we're ready to go.